Yeah, you go, mate. Yeah, you're good. Liam. Please, Liam. Mate. Darren, how are Darren, you? Please, anybody. Is there a cod fingling? Yeah. How many have we got today, mate? Uh, just over two grand, so, yeah, 20... 2,080 2, there is in there, but we'll just call it two grand's worth. Mate, I've got to drink a lot of beer just to buy a couple of them. <laughs> That's right, take your cans to the recycling oh, centre, guys. Oh, Punch mate, in the mate, Lafma code. I've got a couple of blokes collecting cans for me now around being loose. That's fine. Yeah. Every couple of weeks, I go and get four cartons of bloody cans of him. So. Yeah, 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 use yeah, the code. Yeah, yeah. Every can buys a fish. All right, because you, do, you, you don't need all that water. If you're yours. I've already filled my live well up, so oh, yeah. yeah. We'll put the. So these can go with the Rangers? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, we might as well get you going, Kyle. Yep. Right. See how good you are. Come early next year when we want a couple of broods. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one. Okay, good. I don't know whether you want to want water in there. Yeah, I'll go and overflow. Yeah, okay. Oh. So cool, man. <laughs> that is honestly so cool. G'day, guys. Liam Fitzpatrick here. Today, we're out on Warralong Dam. Um, part of the stocking group, LAFMA, Logan Albert Fish Management Association. It's our fingling release day. So I've got the live well chock full of, I say chock full, they're all hiding up in the shade. We've got about a thousand Mary River cod finglings in here. I'm just gonna dot around the dam, put them in some good cover, and uh, yeah, get some more fish back here. I've got Laddie Reynolds out here help me. And of course, you know, we're on the dam. We're gonna have a fish as well. So we're gonna get all these finglings released and I'm uh, gonna try and chase a few bass, so it should be a fun little session. I think so. Here we go. All right, there's our first bucket. Do this a few, a few times around the place, and yeah. So I say it would be better to do it on this side so you could actually see them all on the shallows. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll see. One of them might even claim that. All right, let's get another bucket full. Oh, look at them all. Still a few in there.
keeps fighting up in the corners. sitting down here on the ground bro Look tell, at, tell them to get in the grass yeah bro they're all just sitting flat right here bro Don't go oh no I just moved them. Look at all the spanglies there oh. are they spanglies? spanglies no they're rainbows no there's bigger fish further out bigger spangly a whole school of them, like 30 of them oh, oh yeah i just saw one yeah they going to the reeds? No, uh, they went that way. Yeah. Well, that's what it is, man. It's that's why they stock so many because predators get them, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, this is the last bucket of Mary River cod fingerlings, put in by Lathma. This is all the uh, you know sip money donations and you know, the sausage sizzles and all the hard work we do throughout the year to buy these fingerlings. Now's the time to get them back into the system. Here we go. Gorgeous beauties, guys. This is what we're stocking with, with these little beauties. All right, fingerlings are in. We've got a couple hours up our sleeve. We're gonna have a bit of a dabble, chase a few bass. Just out here in the middle of beautiful Laralong. Nice overcast day. It's bloody warm and humid. But yeah, here we go. Hopefully we get a few bass. All right, I'm just starting out with a Jackal TN60. It's my Lou's TPG1H. That's 19 pound braid. I've got a 12 pound leader on. Probably a little light for some of these big bass, but we'll see how we go. That's just my speed stick custom light. That's that 6'8". 6 to 10. Always get it wrong. 6 to 10. <laughs> you think I'd know after fishing for a few years. It's a problem when you own too many rods. Check your drag, man. These big wire long bass go hard. I know, bro. They go hard. Oh, where are you going, mate? Had this thing set up for that cooler chat. I haven't fished here in a solid year and a bit, probably. Yeah, so that's what I'm, thinking myself too. I'm not too sure if the fish are doing what they were doing last time. Yeah, no. We'll have a crack. We'll figure something out. Oh, it's over a branch and come through. So just going to a spinnerbait, same deal, speed stick light. This is the 610, 10 to 20. Uh, that's the Mark Crush one. That's that jig reel I typically use, but threw it on here to roll a few spinnerbaits. And that's probably like a, what is that? It'd be a half ounce. Norries, I think they're a range finder, a wind finder, wind finder. All right, let's go to a little ZX. All right, let's go to a little ZX 40. Same deal, speed stick light. This guy's the 610, four to 10 pound spin. And just running that loose TLC 2000. Uh, same deal, 19 pound braid and maybe a 12 pound leader on there.
one thing that this place and you know, the fish move around so much same with a lot of the dams you know if the bait moves or something changes you know one good cluster of trees one weekend is going to hold nothing the next at time so if we'd have had more time or been out here recently we'd probably have a bit more of a game plan but see those ones throwing shadow out there there's fish through that. A couple bass down there, hook up. Oh! What was that on? Oh! Big follow, he's still there! Is he? Couldn't tell if that was a bass or a carp. Big brown follow. That was a big fish followed that out, man. Didn't hit it, just followed it. That's worth a cast of that. Another bait. Cheeky bastard. <sighs> nah, make a move, we're gonna run out of time. Damn it. Do you wanna play the game? Maybe you can follow that, bro. I'd rather bloody eat. Oh, Happy you get a pot babies. <laughs> oh man, they suck so bad. Oh, if the cod grow quick enough, they got plenty of little baby tilapia to eat this time of year. Oh, plenty. Right. Probably why they get big so quick here, man. So much food. All right, let's catch a bass, we're gonna get out of here. All right, so we've picked an edge for our last little mad dash trying to get a bass. I've just gone back to that Jackal TN60. That's a silent, that's the rattle of the silent. That's the silent. Just gonna run this edge and we're gonna get out of here, unfortunately. Maddie's got work, I've got kids to pick up from school, so. Not exactly the best time of day, middle of the day, but we might make one bite. It's one of the better looking banks as you start making your way up the dam and once you've traveled under electric power typically not a lot of people go past it because it looks so good so it probably gets a bit of a hide in this run but it's all we got left no one's been up here today we saw a couple of kayakers and a, a boat further down the dam as we took off but fingers crossed Come on, give us a bass. All that good karma, putting a bloody 1,500 finglings around the dam. Where's <laughs> that? Yeah, we should be good. Come on, Reynolds, catch a bass, mate. I didn't catch a bass. I saw your name was Matt's Bass Fishing or something. Same shit, man. It's still the dam. If you can catch them on one bank doing something, you can catch them on another. It's whether or not they're on these banks at this time of year is the question. It's a plan to get back out here again, I think. Oh, oh you little shithead. What? You're belted. Little bass or maybe a spangly. Does <laughs> it hit though? Coming down to the death of the session there, Reynolds.
How good would it be if we actually get a cod the day we're stopping cod finglings? This is weird, like, even when I was fishing it for that ABT event, like, working these edges, some of the other dams, like, you see them stacked up underneath you out wide here. Yeah. I've just never really found them doing it. Yeah, we are. Yeah, like, just, usually if you've got a bank that holds fish, you know, they'll move out and sit 20 foot off it when they're not up feeding. And you just see them out wide, you know, but I just don't see them. Last cast. Uh, that's me. Beaten by wire along. Beaten by wire along. Oh, oh no, what did I do? Nah, fishing was a quick flick was a bonus. All right, guys, there you go. That's a day on the lake out at Wyalong Dam. Hard work putting these finglings, you know, stocking these systems. Lafma does a, a lot of work year round. You know, all the stocking groups across uh, Queensland, you know, they do a lot of hard work to get these fish in the water so you guys can catch them. You know, if you want to be a part of it, you know, join your local stocking group. You know, join, uh, join Lafma. You know, make contact with those guys, jump on the website. You know, if you want a number, hit us up. You know, we meet once a month typically. It's out at Kerry Hall. You know, if you're out this way, you know, you want to get involved definitely uh yeah become a member come to the meetings you know you get to help on days like this we've got our car busters comp and the tilapia event we hold out here each year we always need helpers for that and you know you might meet a few guys like i have over the years that have got you know a bit of water through the back of their property and you know give us access to fish it so it all comes down to the hard work and you know dedication putting the effort in and you know reap the rewards so yeah it's good stuff maddie's a member Big Mitch is a member, you know, all the boys, we all get in, we all do our bit. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that one. There's two and a half thousand more finglings out there. We did two odd thousand the other week and there's another two odd thousand coming. So yeah, putting plenty around the, the dam and the local creeks and rivers, so. Yeah, great yeah. sign. Yeah, good stuff to all those boys, all the old boys that have been leading the way. You know, without them, it wouldn't happen. And without young guys like myself and Matty, and you know, we need more of you young guys coming along. You know, it's gonna make a big difference in the future, so. Cheers guys, I'll catch you next time. Look at these little beauties.